thank you for rejoining again or if you're new like i say it's a, it's a big project and there's going to be so much footage of clearance and stuff all along i want to i want to log it all um so you can go back in like a year or two's time and be like wow we did a lot of work we are i at the moment but let's see if we can get on anyone else on board it's going to be so satisfying to see see it in the future when you go back and look at all this old footage my dad was dying from cancer he passed away that year that well a couple he passed away uh, i want to say about two months after we got that tractor going again um cancer got him and he, he was, wasn't too bad then suddenly went got went septic and just went completely downhill um he would have loved he was he was the farmer he was a farmer when he would when he left school when I was younger, I never really, I wasn't really too into it, to be honest. The, the log splitter and the saw bench, that's why I wanted to get that saw bench out. We used to be up here. And then, I don't know when I started taking interest in it. Probably the eight, probably about eight years ago, I suppose, in my 30s. And it grew up a bit, I suppose. Um, I uh, just suddenly taken a massive interest in this sort of thing. Pretty good with my hands. I've done lots of my work that I do at the minute for myself. It's all property maintenance related. I've got a you know, full toolkit for building anything. Um, I've done lots of time in construction. Also, car mechanics as well. Still do that every now and then. I'll go down to my brother's got his own um, garage, fairly local. I've got a bit of free time. He'll pay me to go down and churn through the cars that he's got in. So I've got a bit of experience with lots of things. And I can operate machinery, diggers, dumpers, that sort of thing. Been doing that for years. Tractors, though, just about. Don't know. Have to see. It's another thing. It's another learning process, which I'd like to have under my belt to be able to say, I, yeah, I learned how to do that. There's gonna, I'm sure... Along this journey of this uh, renovation and whatnot, there's going to be plenty of things that are going to go completely wrong. Why not? Like, you know, when you're doing it for yourself, you learn by making mistakes. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing anything dangerous, stupid. I've got a, I've got a young family to look after, but I'm sure that things are going to go wrong. It will be captured on, on film. So hey, it could be quite entertaining as well. Well, anything that goes wrong, I'll, I'll always keep in. Life's not perfect, is it? Let's be honest. No one's perfect. No one gets it right first time. And even people that have been doing it for years still, still make mistakes and accidents happen. Right. So all of it is going to be on here. On here. It'd be nice, like, years down the line, even if this didn't work out, so it went completely wrong and we had to get rid of the land or something. I don't know. I could go back online and say, yeah, look, I used, you know, we used to do this up here and do that and whatnot. The kids, they do like coming up here, but there's nothing for them to do. You can't even have a little quad bike and go round and round the farm because there's just stuff in the way. If they could actually come up here and get something out of it, like come up here and ride their little quad bikes around. Yeah, the, um, the, the first, that first video of that I put on for a sentimental personal reason because of the cancer and he didn't have long left to live. I said to him, you know, let's, let's see if that whole thing will work and run and drive. He spent so many years of his life in it because he, when he was younger, he just started doing his own contract work. I said, why don't we, why don't we try it? To be able to have that, that, you know, poorly made video but i find myself a few years down the line i can't i can't i, I can't recognize his voice i can't hear his voice anymore but i've got that video Every, he was still mobile his voice wasn't too bad um but i've got that as a memory everyone's got that as a memory now of dad's voice and him messing around and he absolutely loved 
the tractor. He was the farmer. He's the one who did it all those years of farming. It's just very special to have that video on somewhere like YouTube that I don't think is ever going to go anywhere. So we're always going to have that. That's how it started. That's how it started. I put one vi that video up and I thought, oh, I wonder if we can get it to move. We knew that the clutch had burnt out because that's why it was sat up. That's why it was put in that barn for 10, however many years. It, it, it was probably longer than that. Yeah, that's why I just set the camera up, got a couple of mates together. We split it, did all the work on that. Uh, I thought, oh, should we get a video of it actually doing something, like just hooking up onto an old trailer? And it sort of went from there. A couple, couple of years down the line, I got the bug for it and I thought, you know what, this place is just getting worse and worse and worse. Just slap the phone up on a cheap little tripod and a microphone now because the sound was so bad on some of the earlier videos. Um, and start, you know, like vlogging um, the process of getting this place cleaned up and that. I, it's just crazy that nearly 500 people have subscribed to this channel because they enjoy watching it, I think. And it's something that I'm doing. And there's like people like all around the world that have subscribed to the, the channel and um, follow along and, and watch what I'm doing and trying to achieve. Absolutely, it's crazy. I can't believe it, to be honest. I want to capture all the footage to get this place cleaned up. Like I said, go back in the future and say, look, this is what it looked like before. And it'll all be there. And you can watch it from start to finish. Go back to the first video, watch it from there, and just see the place transform and what, what's been done with tractors and stuff, what's come and what's gone. Like, absolutely brilliant. I think I'm really, really starting to enjoy actually just coming up and i'm going to do that today slap the phone up edit it a little bit i'm not very good at editing i, do, I literally use an old iphone i use the imovie app to edit it down then i'll put it onto the youtube studio and then if i want to insert a little bit of music or something just to make it break it up a little bit i'll do that on there and then put it online that's literally the process of what I do at the moment. So if the channel did start to become a, like quite popular, invest in getting some, like better cameras and actually use a, teach myself use a proper like editing software, better video quality, better sound, um, and I would love to have a drone for mowing or you know I do want to do some plowing and stuff. Uh, this is again further down the line. I just I love the drone shots that I see on other people's channels of the tractor in the field, like it's absolutely brilliant. The channel did start doing a lot better. I would definitely get some better filming equipment. It's not the best quality. It's all right for, for what it is, it's all right. But we're just starting at the bottom um, and just see where, see where the channel goes. And if nothing happens to the channel, I'm still gonna be up here anyway, because I do really quite enjoy getting involved and just getting this place cleaned up. That's the main aim. The reason for going putting it on YouTube, one is it'll all be logged. That, that is the main one. If did start to generate some money um, from it, from the, the footage, you know, that's incredible because all of that will just go back into this place. If, if this place could be self-sufficient from the content that's put out, I mean, that's just like... That's just a dream come true, isn't it? Really, it runs itself. And then eventually in the future, improvements and get the place selling some produce again. It'd be absolutely brilliant. But yeah, that's the that's the that's how it started. Um, and now I've sort of got the bug for it. And all I not all I want to do, obviously, I've got to go. I've got my clients and customers um, for my work. I can't just be up here. 24 7. I wish I could because you could get so much more done than the odd day here or the odd, odd, odd weekend. Right. But for the minute, this is just testing the water to see where, see where the channel goes. Obviously, the farm. Um, farm's a key thing, really. 
there were there will be stuff that I I won't film because you just haven't got time um, to get the footage of anything. You just you got to get stuck in and crack on with the job. Try and film as much as I can. So again, go back, look at it, and be like, yeah, that was it then. That's it now. That you know. And yeah, we'll see see where we go. And um, yeah, well, thanks everyone that's subscribed. It's amazing. Gives you a bit of a boost. You're up here on your own, like just talking to yourself all day. It's brilliant to think that there's someone behind there who's watching the stuff and is interested in it. So yeah, I just love being up here because of the memories. Oh, you know, memories of the the old man. I I do miss him a lot. I'm not going to lie. Of course you would. But I'd, I would have loved for him to be up here. He would have only been 61. Yeah, 61. He would have only been 61 this year. He would have been up here straight away. He was very active, my dad. Um, he'd have been straight in there. He'd have loved it. But yeah, anyway, that's enough for me waffling on. Thanks for tuning in. Um, just to watch this quick, quick vid on a little bit more background of why I'm putting this stuff out on YouTube. Yeah, there's loads more coming. We'll see you on the next one.